Hi, my name is Larry Newman. I'm a DWI defense attorney located in Ithaca, New York. Our practice handles upstate DWI cases. Today I want to talk to you about ignition interlock violations and conditional discharge in New York State. So if your case ended with a DWI, since 2010 you'd have to have an ignition interlock device placed on your car and the judge has to order it for one full year. Now, if you have no issues, no problems with that ignition interlock device, you might be able to have your attorney petition to have it taken off early. But the biggest problem with ignition interlock devices is, is that they're sensitive and sometimes people will violate the ignition interlock device and then what that does is it violates their conditional discharge, meaning that now the judge can bring you back into court and resentence you on the DWI charges that you pled to. Yeah, that's a mouthful and I'm going to take it one step at a time. So what ends up happening is conditional discharge from a DWI case has a whole bunch of conditions. The main condition is he stayed out of trouble for one year. But a secondary condition for any DWI offense, aggravated DWI offense, regular DWI offense is, is that you get an ignition interlock device placed upon your car and it's regularly monitored. Every time you get in the car, you have to blow into it. And while you're driving, you have to blow into it to check for alcohol. If you violate and have alcohol in your system while you're driving the car, violate the ignition interlock device, the monitor for that county will get news of that. They will get communicated from the ignition interlock device company, and then they will then send a letter to the judge that says, we are going to violate this person for violating the terms and conditions of their conditional discharge by violating the ignition interlock device. Now the judge brings you back into court, and then you could be re-sentenced, in other words, re-punished on the DWI, and that could mean jail. That could also mean probation, which is closely being monitored and supervised for a term of years. So it's important to get the gist or understand how all this works together. If you have questions about your DWI case or DWI violation, you gotta give us a call, shoot us an email, fill out the form on our website. We'd be more than happy to discuss it with you. And thanks for watching this video.